All right, cool. Switch over. Yep, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Now we're back. Boom. Cool game. Where we at? Oh, sure, Tabernacle. Yeah, so Gale was needing to talk to Mistra last we left off. So, I don't know if I need Gale in my party to talk to Mistra, but yeah, okay. Do I need Gale in my party to talk to Mistra? To resist. So may it be. Oh. Um. I mean, like, does Gale need to be here? Where's my thing? Okay, hold on. Gale, I need you too. Recruit allies, Baldur's Gate companions. Discover the secret of forging the crown. Blah blah blah. Came to deliver final summons from Mistra. Gale needs to go to her shrine or storefront, where she will last grant him an audience. Oh, okay. In that case, I need to go to camp. You go to camp. Gather Gale. Who should I leave behind? Shadowheart. Asterion, I'm gonna leave Shadowheart at camp. Hold on. No, you know what? For speed, gravity, I'm gonna leave Asterion. Moving in. So, Mistress requested a chat with Gale. I do hope it goes well. We've pissed off enough gods already. Mm. It's better if you stay here in a camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, that's where you're wrong, kiddo, because we do not. Yes, please stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Alright, cool. You, Gail. How can I help? I need you to come with me. I'd like you to meet at Mr. Shrine. Meet me at Mr. Shrine. We should hear what she has to say. Of course! Oh shit, in that case, here, no, nope. talk, give me a Asterion back, fuck. Need something? Yes. Darling, <laughs> lead up. Oh lord. He's insufferable. That's all I do, is talk to Gale, tell him to come there. There he is, okay, cool. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude to keep a goddess waiting. 
Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. You ready for this, Gail? You don't owe her. You don't owe her so much as a fingernail. Uh, she'd ask you to blow yourself up. I don't think she's that kind of goddess. Thankfully not. No, she's not been averse to demanding the odd human sacrifice in recent days, has she? When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Do you know what you're going to say to her? Of all the things to be nervous about, an audience with a goddess seems reasonable. Eh, it depends on the goddess, honestly. Yeah, it is what it is. Mm. Why do you care what she thinks of you? Kevin, you're gonna make a fool of yourself otherwise. Why do you care what she thinks of you? No doubt you yourself have sought Mistress Wisdom from time to time. But to not only receive her blessings, but her love it was intoxicating. An experience beyond expression. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Hmm, you're not taking me with you? Seek for forgiveness, uh, make her squirm, tell her the crown would be ours soon enough. Mm, don't give anything away. Just find out what she has to say. Mm. You're not taking me with you? The summoning channel Mistra has provided is for me alone. No one else is permitted to enter it. No matter how talented a user of the weave they are. Mm, you shouldn't go to her, Gail. Don't give her the satisfaction. Don't give anything away. Just find out what she has to say. You'd make a fine three dragon anti player, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover. My chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers 
was a miracle, but we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Yep, he's an idiot. Called it. I updated it. How come I didn't switch over? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it could be updated. Okay. Well, yo, what's the plan? The Absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mr. Fervor, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. What are you talking about? You seem to be in a good mood. I thought you might be more subdued after coming close to blowing up. I missed a shadow curse lands then. What are you talking about? The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. And I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. Hmm. Back up a little. Why is the crown so important all of a sudden? So you're dropping the whole blowing yourself up thing. You think I'll just forget about that? <laughs> Likely not. If I've done damage to your opinion of me, then I'm truly sorry. But if this crown amounts to what I suspect it is, then your faith will soon be restored and then some. It's clear crown and brain are intrinsically connected. Given the pressing urgency of us smiting the latter, understanding the former could make all the difference. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Wait, what just happened? Did he go back into a loop? The hell? How can I help? Um... What? The Outer Planet, she told him that the true nature of the orb, that is the Carsite Weave, half-formed half magic created by Carsis when he sought to become the god of magic, Mistra, to seize a crown and then return it to her, in exchange for which she will be, she will rid him of the orb. 
claimed the crown for himself, though, and the Carsite Weave could could would Carsite Weave would answer to him. Okay, I don't. Okay, is that it? Always at your side. Go ahead. I'm listening. All right, leave. Bye. Is he going to be back at camp? No, he's not. Did he go to sundries? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Yeah, let's go over here. Ugh. Wait, is this? Oh, this is a dwarf chick I found underground. That. So you made it out of the Underdark. More than I can say for Balin. If the old sack was going to die, he could have brought back some noble stock beforehand. Without the bloody fungus, Bone Cloak's days are numbered. Hmm. All right, I like to trade. Go on then. Uh, what do we got? I need ingredients. Oh yes, give me that. Give me that. Give me all of it. There. Supreme Potion. Consumables, hair, equipment. Oh, she's got nothing. I real quick this hat. Okay. What are we token? Elemental augmentation. Do I have enough to make bloodlust? I have enough to make one. Salt of rose morsel. Okay. All right. I need more. Should I go next? What is this? That's Sars Palace. Not doing that. Okay, Figaro. Iron Hands is able to steal watch. Biscuit full of grease fireworks. Help the hag survivors. Yeah, let's go down there and do that then. Can I not go around the wall? That'd be cool. These charms all sound a bit out of my price range. When it comes to magical protection, I've really spared no expense. Oh no. But moaning isn't helping anyone. 
Is this? Lens cobblers. We just going to let Watts his name and his toy soldiers take over the whole Flim's cobblers walk in a pauper, strut out a duke. And if you keep talking the way you're talking, the fists will start breaking heads. Good. I might get some sleep if I took a crack on the noggin. Old Garlows. Warning. The property of the individual known as Old Garlow has been deemed unsafe for habitation under City Bylaw 42A. Do not enter. Notice of condemnation. Okay. Here's a tip. Latest Baldur's Mouth edition. Oh, dynamite! Go. That no problem. Good. Let's go. And leave our leader, the one who saved us, behind. No. My honor won't allow you. noise! Calm down, mate. Cleric has his place secure. <laughs> Helm is on our side. Have faith. There is something teeing here in this wardrobe. You know what? I want to go ahead and quick rest. Time to get going. <laughs> An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. Now we eat your souls, rah! No. Uh, what in the hell is, are you all doing? What are you doing? Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Wait, you're hunting hags? Touch me, and I'll hurt you more than a bloody hag could. Yep. 33. Wait! No hag spawn would speak like that. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. Oh. If you pissed off a hag, you're screwed. Why is she hunting you? I fought a hag before. No easy task. Really? You should join us then. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Thanks to Marina, our leader. Together, we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Only, Marina's been hexed by the very hag who now hunts us. Marina, I know her. She was captured by Auntie Ethel. You're the one that saved her. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... normal. Oh. By Helm, perhaps there is hope. That's insulting. If can help Marina, it's you. 
she's upstairs. But be warned, she's not as you remember her. <laughs> Swift as my feet can carry me. No traps, please. Your humble cleric seeks the power to defend these innocents against the hag. Mugwort. Here, grab the mugwort. Grab, grab the mugwort. Grab the mugwort. Ink spattered journal. Whose is this? Take it. Take it. Take it all. Oh, okay. Give it a shot. <laughs> the hag is evil incarnate. Helm, let us not fall to such a monster, I beg of you. Hmm, a wooden hatch. I wonder where that goes. Keep it together. You've got this. Something to ask. Damn it! This is the last time I save you. Do you hear me? Is this is this something to do with your hex? The doll find the doll <laughs> Okay, there's the voodoo doll. Strange looking doll. There's another one. Strange looking doll. Who's Trotten Diary? Breathe of Ethel again. She laughed, mouthful of my guts. She ripped my baby from his stomach. Tith. He told those everywhere. I tried to warn the others, but I can't speak. Can't walk. My fingers are stiff and right. And I drink up the patience of bazaars. Of Clutter Scroll. It was the dragon. You removed my hex. Uh, that's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. Wait, why is Shadowheart in this goddamn conversation? You're Hex, you were behind this. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. The hag charmed you. You don't know what you're saying. What do you think about this book? I have nothing to do with this. Tell the hag I'm coming for her. Nicely played, but it ends here. Please. Auntie has gifted me idiots twice your size to feast on. You are a mere appetizer. Hmm. Wait, is it only one guy? Oh wow, it's only one guy. Okay. Wait a second, you can't... 
Okay. All right, now bite. All right, then in turn, Carlac. Got it. No. And her? It's easy these days. Can I even hit him? I can. No, I don't need that. Don't need that. And don't need that. Treacherous prick. Is it all Ethel? Are they all called Ethel? That would be interesting. All the hags are called Ethel. A knife in the bastard. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. Good to see you again. You made an adorable sheep, though. Last time, I'm tired of having to save people over and over again. You made an adorable sheep. Thanks, but my mouth tastes like mutton, and I'm itching in hard to reach places. I'm gonna make the witch that did this pay. And I have the means to do it. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. We trapped a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. Mm. Any leads on a missing girl? None. Her mother has no idea of what she's up against. Poor woman thinks the fist will be able to help her. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. Mm. You were going to give your kid to a hag woman. Maybe. maybe this is the same? I'm here to help. I'm gonna start by speaking to the child's mother. Thank you. With you at our side, that hag won't know what hit her. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on hags since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. Laura was knocking about Basilisk Gate at the Flaming Fist's headquarters. Good luck. From the gaze. Staff of interruption, oh, counter spell. You don't say. Okay. What vault? What about you, cleric? This is all my fault. Mayrina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? Heck of the Rangers are liars and cheats by nature. You're lucky I was here to save your asses. Uh, more than stupid moronic. You endangered everyone. Lucky I was here to save your asses. Mayrina was right about you. 
Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. Forgive me. Okay. Did I miss the signs? Wait, who are you? It's up for discussion. I can't believe one of our own was a red cap. Why didn't I see it? Hmm. Disguise was excellent. You couldn't have known. No, a dragon board with no spikes or frills and looking sleek like a lizard? That's something's up. That's suspicious. Hags and her minions do evil things. Do a better job protecting Miriam. They do evil I've things. I've seen it before. Had a hag mask root itself to my face. I should have known. Thank you. For stepping up when I didn't. Oh, this is the one that Dad had the mask. That I saved. Okay. I won't let a hag beat me. I refuse. What are you doing? You went all the way up there just to look at a thing of books? What? Pray for one. Wait, where was the safe at? Wait, can you get down here? Hold on. Do you hear those noises coming out the old old bright place? Louder than foxes and all through the night. <laughs> Criminals. Opportunists. The long of And not the rock for their name. Oh no. Oh, no. Why? That might be worth a look. Yay! Circle of Death, Cobalt Die, Arrow Mini, Targets there in Gold. Not bad. Okay, cool. Now I shall fly back up. Wait, survivor sash is right there. What the hell? Where's the survivor sash? Oh, it's in the safe. I didn't even see the safe on the wall. I thought it was a painting. Sheesh. Dried hags bane. Faith flower. Again. Alright, let's go down into the wooden hatch. What's down here? Trap. Really? A trap already here. Sterion? Don't touch me. I'll touch whoever the hell I want. Okay. There. Continue. Be careful. There are traps about. 
Of course there is. Wait, what was over here just now? alive so that's progress Trap. be cautious go my face protects me a trap some doesn't like this a one? God damn it. Okay. No one stopped me yet. Old Carlos basement back room key. Back. Really? Just run right over all the traps. I've got a long road ahead. Is there nothing in here? Anything else? Underwear. Hmm, interesting. I'll take it. Music box, smoking pipe, inklings. Hmm. Well, books. No. Wait, what is that? Greetings to this home's new occupant. We would make a serum. We shall never meet, but I am Garlo, and I have spent most of my life in the walls in which you now find yourself. I served long within this home, such that it was left to me when my master died. I devoted myself wholly to a life of service and found, once my time had finished, that I had hardly lived for myself a single day. That's changed now. Apart from... Ka I depart for Kalimshan in the morning, and I hope to see the world from there. Please take care of this little place. It was my whole world. Best, Garlo. Huh. Let me, let me pick it up. There, pick up.
Traveler's chest, go. Okay. That should be it then, I guess. Alright, cool. Yep, done. Head and out. Wait. Yeah, okay, never mind. Got it. Hag. I hate hags. Sarasa <laughs> Mario. assured me a builder would come around a ten day ago and hold it you're not the builder which means I've got no use for you is everyone in the neighborhood as friendly as you why do you need a carpenter so badly no but I'm handy still with a hammer and chisel why do you need a carpenter so badly hooligans at the mermaid have been using my shutters for target practice and that's not the half of it I've had to replace the same window three times now, not to mention the mess they've made of my front door. Now either you learn to fix my broken shutters, or you wag your tongue elsewhere. about a lead said that I should come see you about it of course madam let me just <sighs> forgive me why are you here is this some kind of sick joke do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days the fist is under of a, a spell the child is missing and your child is missing Stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been sucking dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said she was taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes. The blushing mermaid down by the docks I've told you a hundred times why aren't you listening examine the flame fist arcana yeah. oh I took off the intellect at a ban so the minimum I could do is four or five so I need to roll at least a 13 minimum that ain't fucking happening Uh, fuck. And I'm not wasting my inspiration. That's nothing amiss. What, um... What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! Hmm, I think there's a hag in the city. This might be connected. A hag in Baldur's Gate? Preposterous! Scare me more than I already am. What would a hack on with my Vanra? She's just lost. That's all. Hot. I'm so afraid. I'm so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. I've no family, and Vanra's father isn't around. 
A flame and best were my last resort. Mm. I hope you find your daughter. You will? Thank you. Not because I hate eggs. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. Was anyone else with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. He was sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. Hmm. You must have some witnesses, surely. Of course. The front of the house, Boats and Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Now, oh, hey there. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stand being around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. That's the prison entrance? What? Hold on, I gotta come back here. Hold on, no, I'll go into the prison. Wait. Quick save, just in case some bullshit happens, whatever. And I die. Seems to be notoriously things how it happened. There's a hole there. Who are you down here? Talk to me. Quiet day, mostly. Don't go spoiling it. Skittle? Skittle? Was you about to go walking through that door? I'm way too big. Oh, that's latrine. Okay. Alright, well in that case, I'm coming back out. There was nothing here in the first place. Hmm. Okay. Fancy a nap on duty. Nothing but 
got scouts. And scouts. I came to check on. Frank. Toys. Poor, uh... Venera, investigate Blushing Mermaid. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're going here. this you in need of protection friend <laughs> what am I saying everyone's in need of protection don't be shy this armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me all right leave I don't need it kitty my god Hold, Seeker! Have you come to swear yourself to Shares by my paw? Who's oh, Shares? Shares? As in Shares's caress? Yes! And no. Your kind has lost their way in their worship of the feline of Felicity. You only hold to her basest tenets. Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen absolute beneath her divine paw? Mm. I'm not sure if Shares is a goddess for me. Shares shall mourn your absence, but always honor your capriciousness as her own. May your dusks be long and your hunger fleeting. Okay, is there like other stuff? Who is this? Who is this guy? Mahan? I don't even know who that is. Ah, I was hoping to bump into you sooner or later. I've heard about you. I know the so-called savior of the city has taken an interest in you. One thing I've learned, real saviors never label themselves as such where have you heard of me i like to keep my ear to the ground if there's someone knocking around who i think could use a good turn i'd try to uh, well turn them i might not have exactly what you need but i remain at your service have a look at least Man, what does he got? Well, of stone, oil bane, oil slipperness, arson as oil. Okay, cool. Nothing. Go speed. Hmm. Okay, let's go down here. We'll deal with this hag. Take a long rest. Evaluation is harmless. Make no sudden moves and no one gets So an amulet of absolutist rebuttal. Wait, do I know these kids? Look, pal. You want a broadsheet? You'll have to wait. I'm taking my break. You got a problem with that? No. Talk to the Gazetteers Guild. I got rights, you know. That's not what I was talking about Sorry, but okay we can't sell you the broadsheet yet got to take my stinky break first boring 
There's always those people. No, this. Oh, this is where I had it. Damn, where I was hunting a hag. Okay. Then where's. There, I came down right here. That's there. There. Okay, cool. So I go this way. What about all those refugees? They've got no stupid of them if you ask me. It's much safer this side of the city walls. Should have at least locked the place up proper before they left. I knew I should have done this before I got here. Now. Where the hell are you? Don't go peeking in the window of that house on the corner. You might get an arrow to the face. One at a time. Move along, nothing to see here. At least by day, thank the gods. How are they talking about? The hell is this? Is this another one of those pillars? Oh, it's one of those temple things. Whatever. Okay. Go back to the counting house. What were you thinking? Ah, oh, don't be a dry shade. <laughs> this is the private abode of Alexander Rainforest. Friends make appointments. Clients respect office hours. Bloody note. Sort of erratic, excitable hand. You've been picking where you shouldn't, here, tree. Placing the orderlings, fire, sp fire spitters throughout my city. Disgusting. They leave no blood. There's no art of it at all for ash corp cylinder, blah blah blah, so I, for me. Spread them out here properly. Municipal sanitation notice. Issue of penetrating stench emanating from around the street edges. Okay. Maybe I can break in? Keep a blade close. Simple. F5, quick save. Just in case. You never know. Picking is attracting attention. Tread carefully. No time to rest. Who are you? Can't I pace and think in peace? The cheek of you. Careful, careful. People don't bloody look where they're walking. Citizens die of thirst. Need to find a way forward. Hmm. Alright, where the fuck is this place at? Save Vonra. Okay, up the stairs. These stairs. Tell that to Glitterbeard. He'll have our heads. Slavery! Grizzly, fierce is she! I don't even know him, Dad. Hmm, the blushing mermaid. Execution notice. What? Looks like everybody's passed out down here. Execution notice. What is this? Read. Wait, quest. Free Counselor Floris. 
We want to counsel for work in execution, but her ex not her exact location. If you want her help, we should find her. Find where she's being kept. Hmm. You know what? From here, I'm going to do a actual manual save just in case. Let's see. Save game. There. Welcome to the Russian moment. You're going on a date? Are you joking? The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look, skip the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port. Alright? No insight. He's right, you should leave the city while you have these hands. You could attack at any moment, and you're worried about a date? Nope, I'm staying out of it. You worry too much, Hen. Now let's finish our drinks, yeah? I don't want to be late. Alright. Nah, she's into him. Stop worrying. I'm not. Murder target, Nesha. My friend dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. You should make yourself scarce. There's a killer's loose and you're a target. Huh. Come on, mate. Who would want me dead? A servant of ball? Fair point. Might be taking you for something else. I do. Time to die. And please listen to me. Others have died already. You are in danger. Yeah. Come on. 35. Yes. Oh, shit. You're serious. I can see it in your eyes. I've got... To... Shit. I've got a tab to settle. Shit. Okay. Alright, who do I need to talk to? Say we're going to investigate. Ninja Troy, it's up there. Shove off. Actually, just leave me to burn. Oh, bloody hell. Captain Grizzly. A captain be bloody hung over in peace. Oh, why, hello there, Captain Grizzly, at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Mm, I'm here about a missing girl, Vonera. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right. Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? If Warzar isn't here, where is she? How do I know you're not lying? I run a bar. What use would I have with some little one running around, crying and shitting? Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Black Dagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. Just pay her off. It usually works. Uh, a child is missing. I just won't. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Gods, do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. 
and I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. Absolutely not. I refuse to do your dirty work. Um, I need to think about it. That's insane. No less insane than lying about having a kid. If you don't do it, I'll find someone else. You can make it painless. Not everyone will. I need to think about it. Well, don't take too long, or someone else might get there before you. Dad, I'm not a cow. You can sell on the market. Please, honey. Creditors are clawing at our door. This marriage will save the business. Just meet the Nilsons, son. One meeting. For us. For your family. Excuse me, madam. Quick question. Would you marry a stranger so your family can make buckets of gold? Fuck no. That's like a terrible idea. Why would you form a pack that doesn't improve your life? It's not just her life. It's her mother's, her sister's, mine for goodness sake. Do you want to see us on the streets? I want to be happy. And I already am. With Sasha. The peddler's daughter? What? I won't stay for this. Then leave. I... I've made up my mind. Fine. You ungrateful, miserable brat. Okay. The Nielsen boy is a lovely chap. Good family stock too. This marriage is for the best. You'll see. Sure, Dad. But he just ran off. How was she still talking to him? If you're here for the music, look elsewhere. It's like listening to a cat being flogged up here. Patron, patron. Third whetstone. Wanna hear a hot one? The other day, I met some folks who banded together to fight back. Against what, you ask? Hags. How stupid can you get? Struck enough to sink. Hmm, Slog. Who the hell are you? 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 Hmm, the hell are you? the Nah, I'm not, but okay. Word of advice. Don't open a tab here. I didn't pay for 16 C months, and suddenly it's work off your debt or lose a limb. Not a bit of reason on them. Hmm. to choose the red one or the blonde one which should I which would you choose uh, uh the red one you're all right you're so right bosun a red ale please good choice my man okay No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or sank you. Got it? 
I'm here for the missing girl, Vonra. Gods above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? Hmm. I don't think a tough guy like you would be scared of a little knife. I've killed people with a splinter, mate. Of course I'm wary of a blade. Lara Laura was her name. Started tearing the place apart. Screaming about some kid. Oh, bloody disturbing it was. Captain Grizzly had a clocker in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. There's stuff up there. There's a, a bunch of stuff up there. Hold on. Can I get up here? Can I jump up there? We're jumping a bonus action. Jumping's a bonus action. Gotcha. Not gonna jump? Come on, jump. That's curious. Illusion magic, okay. Auntie Ethel's home. You must be so happy with Auntie. I am. I want Auntie to be my wife. This will be fun. Thank you, Auntie. Thank auntie you for making me. Auntie will be so happy when she sees beautiful. my chores are done. Auntie protects me. She keeps me. Where would I go to get through here? Okay, so hold on. The baby to must be getting so big. So many people to I can't turn wait down. to see. Treasure, treasure. Everywhere. I love you, Auntie. I love you so much. Time to press ahead. <laughs> Someone's left a trap. Be cautious. A heart. How come you couldn't get up there? What's going on? What are you doing? Are you telling me you couldn't jump to right here? That was your deal? Need to tread softly.
Oh, sex. Auntie protects me. She keeps me safe. The baby must be getting so big. Hmm. Let's see. I have so many dates. So many people. Ready. Let's go. I love you, Auntie. I love you. Thirty one. Okay, cool. So this here is the hag's lair. So I found it. So there is a hag. Confirmed. Taking my time in the shadows. I just saved against vicious mockery. Of course she is. Never wanted the easy path. Spore bell? What the hell is that? Fungal resistance healing pearl. Volatile fungus. Okay. Big head. Chopped up pig. Cleaver. Getting chest? Where the hell is this damn hag at? Nothing. Okay, but huh. Confusing. Very confusing. Hold on, let me see something here. There it is. I didn't have chat pulled up. My bad. Right to hag being involved. Plus your mom is so it looks like a hag's lair. We need to speak to the owner, Captain Grizzly, about this. Oh.
What? What do you mean I can't jump down? Preposterous. I can always jump down. There you go. Now, is this down there? It is. Okay. I close the maid early. So, will you bring me Laura's head? Or do I have to sleep with one eye open tonight? I've been in your basement. Why does it look like a layer of a hag? You? You the shittiest little spoil spoil. Guess there's no point in wearing this old thing anymore. Knew it. She's the fucking hag. Call that shit. Brr. Ethel's back. Hello, Petal. Miss me? I killed you. The hell are you doing here? Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very tasty. You eat Vanra, you monster. Look at her stomach. I'm already showing. Doesn't it suit me so well? Vanra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For a while, I'd love to rip your guts out. I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, walk away. Walk away, and let me a fine hag make. No tricky offer for me, hag? No insensitive? I'm- I'm almost disappointed. Do you want to negotiate? <laughs> you lost that privilege when you killed me, you little shit. Stay and die. Or walk away and live. No, surrender the child immediately. Or what? You'll kill me, touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return stronger than ever. <laughs> A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this. Nonsense! I leave you to my cruel matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Vanna will suffer. Of course, they're all red gaps. Alright, cool. What is... 87... Flame and Pete, 110, 110... This isn't too bad. Where am I at? Who's up first? Carry on. Okay, cool. Can I? He's up first anyway, so yeah. And then another one. In turn. Crawl like you're up. Good 
good idea, Karlak. Yes, hit that fucker. Jesus Christ, yes. Hit him again. Kill him. D28. Close! God damn it, Karlak. Like. Such pretty skin. I want them. Mm. Got a finger your eye hole. Hmm. Okay. That's after a long rest. I'm about to take a long rest right after this, so it doesn't matter. Here you go. Two. Um. Wait. Back up. Take one. Two. Three. And a four. Gnawing Horde, how much are they? 20 hit points each? Ah, that's not too bad. Now they appear. Alright, cool. Two, three, go. Your turn. Really, I can see all the way over there to do that. What? I guess they act independently. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um... Displace, ability drain. No, I think he's fine. Spiritual weapon. Enter. Concentrate. Enter. Top of the round. Top of the morning, Toya. Yes. Let's go. Hmm. Of course he misses. Carlac. Backbreaker. Concussive smash. Yeah, go. And then attack again. Item, do you have a potion of speed? Well, Colossus, Hill Giant, nope, Arson as well, Sharpness, no. Yeah, sure, Bear Heart. Oh wait, this hammer is not a great hammer. So I'm losing out on Great Weapon Master.
Okay. Let's see here. Have to keep going. Boom. Boom, boom. Do this, do decks. On him? Arcane battery. Of course, his concentration is broken. He can't. He can't outwit me. Can they even? What the hell are they doing? When I go. Okay. Oh, I had no more spell slots, so I have to do melee. Ah. Uh, can I throw? Yes, I can throw, but what should I throw? Uh, Alchemist Fire? Yeah, go. My faith will protect me. All right, in turn. Sneak attack. And offhand attack. And then intern. Fuck yes. Garlic, what do you got? Go. Again, again. Oh wait, no I can. You great weapon attack. Jimmy on the go. Wait, can I throw something? What can I throw? <laughs> I can throw something. I'll throw a smoke powder. My little trick. No, okay. Oh shit, the fester here? Oh. Like, no reapply hex on him for wisdom. Yeah, wisdom is fine. There, go with that. There, now you give me this. Okay. Here we go. 
There we go. Can we get up here? Never wanted the easy path. I wonder what the next move is. Still breathing, despite everything. Well, can I throw? We're all the way down to the list here. Jesus. Give me a superior. Yeah, go. Throw again. I wish there was a way I could put, like, throw over here. I moved it up so I could clear stuff because I've got so many damn spells. Now I can't because it's all over there. Hold on. Go over there, throw. Another superior. All right, close enough. Thank you, Auntie. One day I'll catch a break. The baby must be so happy with Auntie. I, I love you, Auntie. I love you so much. I have so many dates to plan. Don't waste a step. So many people to turn down. You dare challenge Grizzly, Captain of the Blushing Mother. What are y'all doing? This is Auntie's special place. You can't be in her special place. Are you fucking kidding me? Kill it and stuff it for Auntie. Let's why are they this land lover from head to heel? Uh, why do they go around? Why do they even go down here? I didn't even click for them. I clicked for them to follow me around the fucking corner here. What do we have here? I swear to fucking God. Over here, attack her, or can you jump over there?
No, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Time to move. We sneak attack. Maybe? Hold on. Magic Missile, Mask of Terror, that one there. One, two, three, four, five. Tormented. Okay, enter. Does she not have any other ranged attacks? Say so Sacred Flame. And she saved. Of course. I won't give in. Wisdom. That one. All right, intern. Intern. This is tedious now. All because of these idiots. These idiots. Passives. Non lethal is on. Oh, is that across everybody? Okay, cool. Don't linger. All right, let's go. Can I? No. Okay. No. But I mean, like, she has. Okay. Yes, we also have passive on. Good. Okay. There. Hit her. And then hit her again. Enter. So much for peace. At the ready. Boom, boom. Where the fuck are they? Okay, yeah, that should be it. That's gonna kill him. Uh, now this fight could have just been avoided if you hadn't run down here. Breakfast. 
Damn it. Sorry, back side. Oh god. Can I just knock you out, please? That's it? No? Okay, fine. I'm ready. That's fine. I didn't I didn't much it's only melee I can do that with, so I'm gonna have to range attack one of these other ones. Nasca Vengeance, uh, Captain Grizzly, it's gonna have to be him. Yeah, sneak attack. Oh shit, I didn't mean to kill him. God damn it. Fuck. Well, Lucy died, not in vain. Push my luck again. There. Who all is left? It's just Grizzly and that one? No, I'm gonna do one to her, and then. Where's the other one? Now she's gonna die. I don't want to kill them. Shit. Here, just aim at the back wall. Want to knock her out, which is fine. Jump up here. I'll smack her. Knock her out. Reckless. Come on. One more hit. Just knock her out. Knocked out. Okay, cool. In turn. I am not counterspelling. I'm using that for the hag. Mm. Come on. Shadow Heart. Just smack him. Don't react. Okay. Now, are y'all done? Y'all good? Best avoid that trap. Should mind my step. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? Looking ahead. Light on my feet. It somehow got stuck to take a load off, isn't it? in here. Get go in there. <laughs> there, so I can see this fucking thing. There we go. Shit. At least I'll have one in here. Alright, cool. Hold on. Before I start doing all of this shit. Avenge the hacker, front and together. Okay, cool. Hold on. Where is the book? Inklings, retirement plan, readings, launcher's guide to hags. That. One of the most arrogant hats from night to from night to before. None know that death is a possibility. As such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of the material plane to escape death's clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, hags use of all things a common and humble mushroom. By imbuing these spores producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself. Uh, neither blade nor bow will do these fungi lasting harm. The very twisted magic that heals the hag defends them. Instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushrooms to ashes and your blade will strike the hag's heart true. But a warning, Hunter, even in death a hag is dangerous. Be quick, be swift, and be deadly. Gotcha. So... To kill this hag, I need to kill all these mushrooms. 
So how many are there? There are one, two, three that I can see. Don't mind if I do. Have to keep going. I don't need any attention right now. I am in her sight. So, that's fine. Don't waste a step. Oh, the big tough hero finally showed up. I told you, Petal, you can't hurt me. God with damn it, Shadowheart! I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Wait. Careful. If she dies, she's taking the child with her. Do we all have non lethal on? We do. Hmm. How do I not get that close? Here, you right there. Hmm. Of course. I could have dashed as a bonus action, then fucking went over and stabbed her. That's fine. Action surge. I don't know where she's at, but go up here. Over there. I gotta use fire on those. Hmm, intern. Oh, she's right here? What the fuck? Okay, firebolt. Hmm. All there for that little bit. Perfect. Spiritual weapon. Yeah, right there is fine. No, not her. The fucking blade. Okay, cool. Wait, how come she didn't get a chance to go? What is she casting? Ray of Sickness? Yeah, I'll cast her spell. Spell Scorching Ray One, two, three. Then Scorch Ray, is that a second level spell? Yeah, it is. There, Arcane Battery. No, hold on. Yeah, let's do Scorching Ray again. Now, one, two, 
one, two, three. Alright. Uh in turn. Sonic backflash. <laughs> there? Yeah, go ahead. Hit her. Alright, in turn. Did that thing just fucking heal itself for a fucking hundred? It did! I've got to focus fire that thing. What the hell? What? It's turning on a sheep. He got polymorphed. Fuck. Now this is my happy place. There. Hit him. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's bad, it's bad. Here. In position. Can I hit it again? One more time. Again? In turn? Cut and run. Wait, hold on. Here, examine. Searing smite for 10 turns, 1d6 fire damage, healing pearl. Huh. Oh, I can't do it to inanimate objects, but I can't hold on. There, fire. Oh, she's got resistance, it's fine. Oh shit, I hit the fucking... <laughs> Tag in between it? What? That was unexpected. Alright, fine. Okay, so I have got to do... That's fine. Here, can I put wisdom on this thing? No. No, I'm gonna use this. Quicken spell. Eldritch Blast. One, two, three. And then... Eldritch Blast again? Elemental Energy Source, which Chronic Goddess Kreska. What does this do again? Hold on. That yeah. okay. One, two, three. The fuck? It's like right there. Come on. Ready. In turn, shot a heart. I need you to do like one damage to this damn thing. Are you able to just do fireball here? There? That's like the only thing you can hit. Hold on. There. Go. Oh wait, it's 100% chance to hit. Of course you can. If I wanted my growth seem too petal, it wouldn't be you I'd call. Of course not. Alright, cool. Here, let us heal up. Fourth level. Yes. This way. Okay, cool. Uh, in turn. There, you attack that. Hold on. Okay, in turn. That one's gonna heal. That one's got fire damage on it. Okay. Stereo, what do you got? Can you run over there and attack that thing? Probably not. Okay. 
Okay, she split up again, so it is what it is. Invisible revealed. Oh, that's the actual anti ethel. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Hmm. Let's have some courage. Yeah. Kill that thing? Can you? Ooh. Surrender. Alright, let's go. Smack. Bloody clever clubs. Smack. Salmon. Hag has eaten a child to transfer him into a newborn hag. Killing the hag will lead to a child's death. I don't want to kill it. I want to knock her out. Which is why I have to pass it on. Okay, cool. figure out how to get her out once yeah. once she's down all right cool so that's two of the spores down I'm gonna go focus on the third what path lies before me wait she saved from being seen No. No. <laughs> awesome. I didn't think that would work. X on Dex? There you go. Wait, can I fly still? No, I don't have enough move to speed, but in turn. Okay. Okay. On the move. Guiding bolt on that thing. All right. Uh, wait. Did I just hit? No. Okay. Never mind. I thought I hit my spiritual weapon with the guiding bolt. What is she casting? Ray of Sickness? Um... Counterspell. That's fine. Okay, so that was the real one last time. Now she's split up into six? What? Can't reach destination. Why? Is he blind? No. Why can't I move? Oh, I can't move. Hold on. Of course I can get away. What the hell are you talking about? I can't reach destination. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, those two aren't real, so I have to figure out which ones are real. Okay, that's fine. What's this? Uh, no, I'm actually... Hold on. Find a route. No, oh, that is her. And I can knock her out right now, can I? 
Right, I'm doing non-lethal. Yes, non-lethal. I can knock her out. Good. Reckless. Tiethel lies unconscious, her stomach bulging from the child she ate. Cut Vonra out. Okay. And turn. Tip HP. Here, go over here. Okay, cool. Can I hex this thing? No, I cannot. Okay, so no hexing. However, I can... That doesn't require a spell slot. I need to convert spell slots. There, create sorcery points. I shall convert this second level sorcery point. There. And now I use Electric Blast. Perfect. Alright, enter. Shut a heart, you are up. Have to keep going. You can practically stare at the damn thing. It's right there. Not enough movement, you can't aim that far with that spell. What the fuck? Can you do it with this? No, of course not. You're completely fucking useless. Can you throw something? Can you throw over here, please? How is the path interrupted? Okay, fine, enter. And that's the end of that. Enter. Okay. Can we get closer? There we go. And attack with that. God, it's hot in here. Throw a bomb. Can I throw a bomb at it? Yeah, because I gave her majority of the stuff. Really, a retort. It's just a bomb. It's a regular bomb. Smoke powder, Satchel. Smoke powder bomb. Wait, how? How are you so crooked in your aiming? The fuck? I am back. What happened to Final Fantasy VII? Oh, I beat the demo. It was a quick demo. It was just over the, the Nibelheim part. Where you find out Sephiroth was one of the creations of Professor Gast. Like, that whole backstory deal. And yeah, so... It's it's a short demo. It's like two hours. It was a little over two hours for me because I took my time. But then, like, once I got done, I went to this. How is that... Path interrupted. How? Here, let's let's move. Let's go this way, right there. Now we'll throw 
Throw the goddamn bomb. Destroy the fucking mushroom. Path is interrupted. What are you hitting? I see it's catching something on the roof. Here, throw it right there. Yeah. There, uh, 18, 14, so that will use it just with a little bit of health left. And let's throw again. This time... Yeah, throw another bomb. Right. There, that's fine. No! Not my mushrooms! Yep. And then that should be it. Oh, Spider, you can't get over there? Because of the damn sword? Are you fucking kidding me? By the way, I need to turn this off. Hold the week. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, how come that wasn't on? I don't know, but it's on now. Oh, it's on. I like Donkey Kong. Yeah, she's dead. Nope, I don't even need a crit. She's dead. There's no way she could survive this. <laughs> You're Vanra, right? Your mom sent me. Ring of Farewell Sparks. Ooh, I didn't realize it was a demo. Yeah, it's a demo. It doesn't come out to the 28th. So, which reminds me, I need to talk to you later. I gotta get that game so I can play it. And my Sorcerer's Tides of Chaos feature is active. You will always trigger while magic surge when casting spells. Oh. That is for a specific type of class. Oh, sure, it's wild magic. Okay. The hag is dead. At the ready. Okay. The hell? Oh, can I loot? County House Vault in 01 Key. She'll take that. Salty Scimitar. Command and County House. I shall take that. Ransom Note. My dear sweet Captain Grizzly. I've heard of stories about you. And what tales you were. Tales they were. Oh, my magnificent. Imagine. I'm surprised when I nabbed your precious boots and get it from under your nose and so easily. Feel me, little bugger. Cause I had a peep out of you. What's your favorite? Come along. Mm. Eh, you can keep your leather. I just want your sword. Take that. Hand drum. What? Mask of Vengeance, take the mask, the Great Axe, but that's right, I'm overweight, here, take, where's all the mask? Give those to Carla. Hmm. Salty scimitar. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Arr! 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 Arr
Arr. Yeah, you take that and start on. Model key, it's a deal. Okay, except you can I watch. Okay. The hag is now dead. Good. Section jump. What? These red cabs don't have anything on them. Two toes. Oh shit. I murdered that guy. Wait, no, don't loot it. They didn't have anything anyways. I need a quick word. Uh, Captain Grizzly's in a bracelet basement. is the captain why didn't she stop them freaks because she was taken she was held against her will we'll have our heads. here talk to him if you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss I know anything else I didn't fight drunks, I fought red caps. Mm. You need to leave, Captain Grizzly is a hag. It is your captain, alright? I saved her from the hag. Mm. Uh, red cap? Yeah. One of them pointy looking fuckers. You know, I thought I saw it. Ah! Magic tickles your senses. Someone or something has tampered with his memory. Sorry, mate. Only red near as my patrons' faces when they've had a few too many. Take it easy, yeah? Hmm. There's your captain, all right. I say they're from the hag. Oi. And I didn't lift a finger to save her. It was like I was stuck in a fog. My mind addled from every direction. All I could hear was a voice telling me the captain was safe and well upstairs. <sighs> Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Captain said you're one of us now, so far as I'm concerned, you're part of the crew, mate. Welcome to the maid. Mm, slinging drinks isn't my thing, but sure. Okay. Um, that's all done. Okay. Okay, I gotta go talk to the hag survivors. And talk to Laura. Laura. Tell that to Glitterby. He'll have our heads. Is this it? No, it's not. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's down here. That's right.
when they bloody let me rest my head. Well, plenty don't even have that, have they? What about all those rings? Alright, the hag is dead. She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. Mm. How did you know? I, I felt it, I think. It was like a piece of glass had been lodged in my chest and was finally pulled free. And the girl? You saved her, right? Yeah, she's traumatized, but alive. Of course, sure did. All in a day's work. They say revenge doesn't fix anything, but damn, does it feel amazing. Thank you. Hmm. And a coin variety. Uh, I didn't feel so amazing when she was vomiting up a child. But she wasn't vomiting up the child. I cut the child out of her. There's a difference. Um, Verda, thank you in my, <laughs> to be in the coin variety. Of course. Here. Because of you, I'll finally be able to sleep with both eyes shut. Thank you. Faye Symbolates Amulets. Symbolates of Faye. The advantage on intelligent rhythm saving throws. Huh, not bad. West complete. Okay, where the fuck is... Go up steps, go this way over here. Here? Okay. To talk to her. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. Nag was my problem to deal with. Keep a closer eye on her first. You're damn lucky I was here. She almost died. And I will die. Hopefully, many years from now, with your name on my lips. Forever grateful for what you've done for us. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you. For being braver than half this city put together. Uh, Amulet of the Wind Rider. Would you like that? Mommy, Ride the Mommy. winds. Dust of wind. Is it right, Vanra? Duelist prerogative? What? Elegant duelist. Well, your offhand is empty. You score a critical hit when rolling a 19. Moreover, you gain an additional reaction. Three cuts. On a hit with a melee weapon, use the reaction to deal an additional necrotic right. damage equal to your proficiency bonus. Challenge a duel, duelers enthusiasm. That's right. Mommy mm. is here. Why'd you make it so big then? Yeah, take with them. Awesome. Two quests down. So what happens if I target Alexander? Okay. Come on, I have no more short rest. A lot of spells on her. A lot of spells on her. She, he, she's good and he's good. Is that supposed to be a bar or a druid? Everything is going to be alright. That's right. Mommy is here. 
that is supposed to be up all the time. Why is it not? Okay. Time to press. Well, regardless, I need to take a long rest. I just, I'm afraid to. I'm so afraid to take a long rest, everything's gonna progress, and then I'm gonna fail everything. But that's what it comes down to. Quests. That's all the completed quests I've done. Okay. Um. Free Counselor Florek. Gale has not returned. Of course he hasn't. That rule, where can I lay it? Okay. In the day. Mm. After a quick save, just in case. Let's see. No, hold on. Is there anybody I can talk to? There, Gail hasn't come back. Nobody's come back. Sarion. There, Chihira. There, what's her name at the tower? Everyone's there. Allison's there. Okay. Alright, in the day. Yes. Gail is now back at camp. Okay, cool. And I can go talk to everybody. Let me go talk to everybody. See what all they say. A private word would be nice. Catch up on a few things. Private? Star Ellen's right there. How is it private? It make no sense. How can I help? Uh, very carefully? Why does he have so much faith in you? I've often asked myself the same question. I never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome mm. almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. You became a cheese? Did you regret using the orb? I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here intact and unexploded it's not one of them Though the orb still seems to offer our best hope of destroying the brain i retain some hope that another less costly solution can be found for now to have a few more days in your company no i wouldn't change a thing okay is that okay hedging his bets with Mistra? I can't say I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the Crown of Carsus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be, but we're all different, of course. Mm. Oh, I've already talked to him about both of those several times. It's nothing new. Carlac wants to talk. Aelin came back. Mazur is here. Alright, cool. Let's go talk to... I'll talk to Carlac last. You're here. Far from me to judge Gale for playing coy with Mistra. But I will not be cleaning up whatever mess she makes of him for it. 
Have you thought any more about how we might find minks? I have. And while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine Centaur. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. The mysterious Keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. Yeah, but we throw your lot in with the thieves. Uh, I didn't think a harbor would be friends with a petty crime lord. Hmm. She's not one to be trifled with. Nor are we. But I trust she knows the value of collaboration. Especially in times like these. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall. Huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Ask it. Um. Oh, no, never mind. I don't need to ask any of those. I'm not talking to those two. I will talk to maybe Shadowheart. Will over here. Allison. Mazor's hanging around like she's some lost puppy. She probably doesn't want to face Ariel. What do you think of the new look? Uh, if it helps you put the past behind you, I'm all for it. I love it. Not for me, but who cares? Honest of you. I can appreciate that. After being lied to by Shah for so long. Give it time. It may grow on you. No, it won't. It's your hair. Your hair grows on you. That's how hair works. Do you not know how hair works, woman? Hmm. Amazing. The Shrines are used in a place called the House of Grief has covered their presence for their presence in Baldur's Gate. What's happened to us? I think the special tapple. No. Three separately now. Uh, no. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Who <laughs> will? This crown seems too powerful and dangerous an object for mere mortals to possess. Too dangerous even for Mistra. But I would sooner trust it with a god than with Gale. Uh, no. <sighs> Mazora, why are you still here? Something on your mind? You know exactly what's on my mind. Elton accosted us in the lower city. What in the hell did you tell her? Killed. You almost succeeded. What the hell did you tell her? Why? Only the truth. That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city. So eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling. How is she? Alive, no thanks to you. I convinced her to stand down. How dare you interfere? I am not to blame for Ravenguard's death. As if, as if you care. Is this some kind of entertainment you want it? Alive, no thanks to you. I convinced her to stand down. How dare you interfere? I am not to blame for Ravenguard's death. Glower all you want. I was merely laying the path to Will's success. With the Duke gone, someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps. I don't get it. If Will is at your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Okay, leave. Halson, what? 
I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. Mm, don't downplay your achievements. The Shadow Curse would still hold sway if not for you. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones. Making ten thousand difficult decisions. Finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day, I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. Hmm, you served the Grove well, Grove well, and found a worthy successor. No one can ask more of you. Grove aside, I'm glad you stayed with me. You could resume your position at the Grove once you've defeated the Absolute. Not everyone's met for leadership. There's no shame in walking away. No one can ask more of you. Still, though. I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oak Father willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long, I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. Hmm. Leave. Albert. Bub. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Yeah. <sighs> Leave. Okay, well that's everybody, right? Everybody that I can talk to, that I care to. What does Carlac want? I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. Cliff diving, naked horse riding, dueling a troll. Even crazier than that, if you can believe it. I want to go on a date. A first date. No weapons, no monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. Please say yes. Wait, what would you have? Can you cook? What did you have in mind? Can we go as friends? I'd love to go out with you. Yes! Oh, amazing! Put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here. Oh, I'm so excited! Uh, let's go. Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. Wait, where are we going for food? I mean, a dinner? What the hell? Is she cooking? Does she even know how to cook? You made it. Mm. You look nice. Thanks, so do you. I didn't put on an outfit, I just love the dances. Don't I know it? Don't, don't I know it? Um, I feel like you could have made it a bit more up. <laughs> eh, no, that's there. Thank you, so do you. Don't I know it? Yeah, there we go. And never forget it. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Seafood stew? That's a that's a boya base. Why 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 they gotta be so fancy and call it not that? I think the seafood stew sounds nice. Grilled rothe ribs sound good. 
pumpkin stew sounds lovely. A simple bowl of gruel for me. Um, both the ribs are delicious. Seafood stew sounds nice. It's one of these two. Grilled rothe ribs. Sound good. Let's go. Just what I had in mind. Huh? Two of the rothe ribs, please. And two glasses of... Mm. Beer. And two glasses of beer. So, you're an adventurer, right? How's that going? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> well, you've been by my side for a lot of it, you know. More difficult than expected, the baddies around here are very bad. Pretty straightforward. Kill monsters, save the townsfolk. Fish, bash, wash. Hmm. Kill the monsters, save the townsfolk, sweep the local hell beast off her feet. That was an unexpected very welcome Tris. I don't think I could knock you off your feet if I tried. <laughs> uh, you're not a hell beast, you're a hell champion. True. Then let's say you brought me to my knees. <laughs> God, so terrible at this. This was supposed to be a first date, but it's all I can do to keep my hands to myself. for yourself. I'm being very good indeed. <laughs> Show me your ways. Mm. So where did you grow up? Start like that. Right here in Baldur's Gate. More or less. My folks are long gone now, but they raised me in the outer city. Dad was a porter in town. Mum did laundry. Still think of her when I smell clean sheets. We were poorer than dirt, but my gods, we had fun. What about you? Um, like yours. No wonder we get along. Uh, honestly, I don't like to talk about my past. I'm far more interested in our future. Baldur's Gate 2. I wonder if we've ever crossed paths. Might have, if you spent any time in the outer city. We didn't exactly hide ourselves under a bushel. Oh, hey, here comes our food. Wait, we ordered beer? Wait, we ordered the Rothay ribs. Those aren't ribs. Uh, hey, uh, Hank, I think we ordered the. It's a bleeder. Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? Oh, shit! You oaf. Not my good girl. <laughs> we can use my glass. To us. May we live every day like it's our last. Giggity. Gig, gig, giggity, gig. Oh, that was great. The food and the company. I still one of my ribs. Some bandits would burst in and give us something to do. That way, having a normal evening amid the chaos. Whatever do you mean? We're just two normal people living normal lives, very, very normally. I know I can't stay forever here with you. In fact, I feel like, like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much and the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, but giving up, but to be here, with you, in the city I love, in this world that I love so much. It 
it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. Oh, it's so sweet. No. Ah, uh, what are the choices? Get over here, I need you. I love you too. Let's go back. There's something I want to show you upstairs. Giggity? Is it a bed? What is it? Ah. Uh, I happily head upstairs with you, but I want to make sure I'm clear about not wanting to sleep together. Oh god, no. Just say goodnight here, Colic. Hmm. Now after you. No. After you. Yay! Is this it? Oh, okay. Hot date. Now that's playing with fire. Okay. Well, the date's done. Okay, is that everybody? Yeah, I'm going to bed. Wait. Pipe. There, put all this into the camp. Send the camp. Yeah, send the camp. Hold on. Yeah, the carlag. Patrick Netherstone. in the camp? Yeah, I go. Okay, that should be it. button okay so that to there yeah sure go to bed Okay, please don't grab the egg. Okay, cool. Full rest. I plan on selling it at some point. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The 
very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Hmm. You led an exciting life. Why do you conceal it from me? Why did you conceal it from me? Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. And what did you learn? You tried to control me. You could have been more open with me from the start. Perhaps. But I couldn't take the risk. An elder brain leaves no room for error. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how reasonable you would be. You don't like to be coddled, cajoled. But you responded well to logic, to rational arguments, to cold, hard facts. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. I enjoyed our conversations. I enjoyed our conversations. As did I. like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Mm, I think you missed where the signs. I five with whatever we have now. I'm sorry. You're right. Now's not the time. Forget I said anything. Let's move on to more important things. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Cancel before I gather your allies. Okay. How many more allies do I need to get? Hmm, not sure. At any rate, I am going to. Innervating magic. Nice. Okay. <sighs> what? Permanent. Nice. Okay. That said, I am going to save here. Manual save. At the campsite. And I'm going to call it here for the evening. Uh, thanks for coming out. If you're new to the channel, of course, go ahead and follow. Um... 
Let me go ahead and see if there's somebody on right now that I can read. Hmm. There is. Let me see here. Let me see here. Get it all set up. Gonna read. All right. Starting read. Yeah, like that. Pause here. Alt tab out. Boom. All right. We're gonna read now, and y'all take it easy out there and be safe. All right. Bye bye.